Hey teachers, uh, Daniel Witt here uh, and a whole bunch of folks from the technology and instruction team. In about five minutes, we want to show you how to operate the new breakout sessions features of WebEx. So um, when you open up the WebEx app on your Mac or Windows machine, at the very top right, there may be a little tiny blue button that says update. If that's the case, go ahead and do that first. You should not need admin credentials to update the app. Once you're up um, at 4 point, uh, I'm sorry, 40.9.6, once you're up that high, you can start to use uh, breakout sessions in WebEx. So I wanna show you, you can see we're all nine in a room together. This could have been my personal room, or it can be a custom room that you create via the Google Calendar or anything else you want. Once you're all in a room together, you need to go to the very top of your screen in black where it says breakout, click that. That's up in the file edit menus up there. Click breakout and choose enable breakout sessions. Soon as you do that, you'll notice at the very bottom of your WebEx window, there is now a breakout sessions button. So as you can imagine, we need to click that button. I'm gonna click on breakout sessions, the button. Up pops this, assignments. So we have seven total participants, not including me and Tommy Payone because we are now co-hosts. So we have seven participants who are not hosts. So let's say we want these to go in three separate rooms. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna say assign seven participants into three sessions. I could choose automatic and hit create assignments. If I do that, WebEx is randomly going to distribute my seven participants um, evenly with one left over, obviously into three breakout sessions. But I, uh, for the sake of showing you guys today, wanna click on manually, and then I'm gonna click create assignments. All right, so here I am. It made me three breakout rooms. Um, and I can go in here and I can rename these. So imagine if you were teaching uh, a short story, for instance, and you wanted to analyze three different pieces of that, you could come over here and rename your breakout sessions accordingly, plot, characters, etc. But for today's illustration, I'm gonna rename them. I'm just gonna say uh, session one, and then I'm gonna rename this to session two just so that you see that we can do it, and then session three, but you could rename them whatever you wish. All right, so now what we're gonna do, and you can even add an additional session after the fact if you choose to do four or more. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over session one and click assign. So I am going to go ahead and put Kathy and Jackie into session one, and then I'm gonna click on session two and assign Lacey and Mary and Melissa, and then I'm gonna click on session three, and I'm going to assign the remaining people. So I'm even gonna put a co-host in there, which is Tommy. All right, so now I've got everybody assigned. I can click settings here. I wanna show you and walk you through these really quickly. You'll notice the top one, allow attendees to return to main meeting. If you leave that checked, which is the default, at any point, your students could jump out of their breakout session and back into the main room. So my guess is you may want to turn that off a significant portion of the time. So I'm going to turn that off. The next one is allow attendees to join breakout sessions later. So in that case, um, I'm going to leave that checked. Next, I see automatically close breakout session after however many minutes. I am going to check that. And I'm going to tell the students before we go into a breakout, hey, you only have two minutes, which is pretty. Actually, I'm going to change it to one for illustration. So you could set that to, I guess, a reasonable number would be 15 minutes or something, depending on what you're doing. And then finally, once you cancel the breakout sessions or pull everyone back to the main room on your own as the host or the teacher, you, you want to be able to give them some sort of warning. So you could uncheck that, but I'm going to check it. I'm going to say at, once I do that, warn everybody that they're, they have 10 seconds before the breakout session ends. All right, so now we're all hanging out, all nine of us. If I hit start breakout session, watch what happens. Okay, you see people start to disappear from the main room. Okay, great. So now um, this is the main meeting. They're taking just a minute to disappear. Wendy, you're still here. Maybe you'll get broken out here in a sec. So let's go ahead and look over on the far right. We have session two, session three, uh, and then session one. 
Uh, it looks like I neglected to put Wendy in and let, oh, there she goes. Okay, cool. So now everyone's broken out into the various sessions and they are out there talking without me. Uh, if I'd like to jump into session one with Kathy and Jackie, I just come over here on the right on the participant section and I click join. Now I'm joined up and there's Kathy and Jackie. Hey guys, good to see you. All right. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to click the red button that says leave session and I'm gonna say yes, leave session. So now I'm back in the main room all by my lonesome. I'm gonna just check in on session two, see how Lacey, Mary, and Melissa are doing. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for playing along. They're doing fine. They're uh, doing their collaborative work. So now I'm gonna jump out of that session. And finally, I'm gonna check in on my last session. Hey guys, looks like you're all doing solid work in here. Thanks for playing. I'm gonna click the red button again, jump back out. All right. So now I am back in the main meeting by all by myself, as you can see at the top right. I want to end this and bring everybody back. So I'm gonna say breakout sessions, end all breakout sessions right here. Before I do that, I wanna broadcast a message to everybody. So I'm gonna click broadcast and say, see you all in about 30 seconds. I don't have to do that. And that message could say, hey, make sure you're staying on task or whatever you want. And I'm gonna say, send this to all breakout sessions and hit send. So now they all received a message from the teacher no matter which room they were in, that says see you all in about 30 seconds. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click end all breakout sessions. So let me end the sessions. And in a matter of seconds, you'll see here, everybody should be popping right back in. Let's see. I think we set it on 10 seconds as a warning, right? Great. So now everyone's back in the main room. Okay, we good to go? That's it. Thanks everybody for playing along. See you later.